मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ऑर्गेनिक गार्डनिंग मंत्रा फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर सम वेरी यूजफुल टिप्स अबाउट दिस बिगिनर्स प्लांट पीपल वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट गार्डनिंग इफ दे स्टार्ट विद दिस प्लांट आई एम श्योर दी विल नॉट बी डिस because this plant is so easy to care and maintain only if you follow certain important tips you will grow your daffodil back here also like this nice healthy friends i bring so much in, in, information for beginners please do subscribe my channel many people just watch and go away i will be encouraged if you subscribe my channel and i will also feel happy that you have watched the cha- watch the video to the full and you will adopt all the ways that i have told in my channel in my video and grow nice and beautiful plants so friends please subscribe my channel and do like and share friends when you bring your plant home do not be in a hurry to repot your plant because it has to get used to the climate of your home so at least one or two weeks you let the plant be in your house just like that later on you can repot the plant so for repotting first thing i will suggest the pot size should be at least 8 or 10 inches if you want to grow a plant like this better you keep 10 inches pot because it gives lots and lots of babies if you care for it properly and i don't like to separate the babies from the mother and i let it be so you can see how beautiful my plant looks so what soil mix you should take is is a very easy soil mix sand soil coco peat and vermi compost all three in equal quantities and a spoon full of fungicide that's it and also one spoon full of epsom salt epsom salt helps your plant to absorb the shock it goes through while repotting so these are the basic things if you have and even if you don't have some ready soil mix you are getting that also you can use but preferably make your own soil mix so that you know what is there in the soil mix friends fertilization this plant doesn't need much fertilization only i fertilize these plants twice in a year with vermi compost but at the same time i will be giving liquid fertilizer of onion peels and i will also give used tea or used coffee grinds because these are very rich rich in nitrogen and it helps the plant to get nice foliage and that is what why this plant is grown because of its beautiful foliage now next is if you can see i have kept my pets little far away from this plant because you know pets have a habit of nibbling on whatever is close by these have 
calcium oxalate so which is harmful for your pets and toddlers so do keep them away from this plant or most of the house plants even your pothos has calcium oxalate but the best thing about this plant is it gives you lots and lots of oxygen and it absorb all the toxins in the environment it makes the surroundings clean and pleasant when you grow these plants start growing these plants you will also notice the difference in the climate of your own balcony or your home if you keep some indoors this is indoor as well as outdoor plant this plant grows in semi shade keep it away from direct sunlight especially in summer do keep it in shady area so that it doesn't burn its leaves during summer you have to take little care about this plant otherwise it's a very easy to grow plant for anyone whether it is beginners or seasoned gardeners it's a lovely plant to bring home this daffon back here you get very very cheap in nursery in 100 or 150 depending on the leaves it is having only thing is with your care you can nurture this plant to nice growth and friends look at the growth in my fellow dendron this is the growing season and the lovely shoots lovely tender shoots make me feel so happy i i always feel very happy when my plant shoots a uh, delicate leaf i really feel elated friends now coming back to defend by kia you can put a spoon full of turmeric before the onset of monsoon so that if there is any bacteria or it prevents root rot especially if there is over watering if you don't have there is no question of not having turmeric in our indian homes we all have turmeric another alternative is dalchini powder cardamom uh, i'm sorry cinnamon powder just a pinch of turmeric or cinnamon put in the soil of all your plants before the onset of rainy season so if there is any bacteria or fungus in your plant it takes care of that another problem is because it has broad lovely leaves dust settles on them very easily so don't forget to give them a shower every day or at least alternate day this is the spray bottle with which i give spray all these plants not just defen bakia all my plants see how lovely they are looking because today i have given them aloe vera gel spray so aloe vera gel spray has lots of hormones in it growth hormones it brings a nice shine to the leaves and also helps your plants to grow